All right. So, for most of you who are aware of why we're doing this live, you saw the story. I will not go through the story because it's not my story to tell. What's that noise? I don't know. <laughs> what kind of noise? Is it ear noise? It okay, stopped now. Yeah, it stopped. Okay. Yeah, yeah, hear me now? Yeah, man. Clear. So, it's my story to tell. But I have on the live two persons. We have Jamal and we also have Mr. Buchanan, Isaac Buchanan, who when we get to him, he will tell you his credentials on speaking on this topic. But Jamal, uh, I hand this, I hand the floor over to you, so you can tell us the story. You can lay out what's going on. Yeah. So, um, basically, what's going on for me is like, um, as a father, you guys didn't hear me um, clearly, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, um, I don't know. As a father, we have to take um full responsibility to our kids because right now. Me not have a father because my father my father gets sick because he was born with sickle cell and he lived to see fifty two years old, right? And he passed away. So now I'm now I'm the father of my little brothers and sisters. And also of my three sons. I have two sons in Jamaica and one overseas. Good? So, you know, you, who don't know me? Some people do. I'm a dancer, right? You don't, you know, um, that's my work. I travel to many different countries to share my culture. I dance our culture with the world and stuff like that, right? Mm. So... That's basically my job. That's what I do for a living. That's how I make my bread. When I don't travel, I have my students who fly from abroad to come here to also learn the culture, the dance hall culture, right? So I'm from a group in Jamaica called Crypto, which is, we have um, nine of us in that group. And we all do the same. We all travel and teach dance. So, um, um, just hold on, Jama. The feedback isn't from me, my mic has been muted. I don't know what feedback from you. Hey, let's all mute our mics if we're not talking, huh? Yeah, better. It's better, you guys hearing? All right, cool. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, like, um, I travel, I teach. When I don't travel, you know, um, my students came here to Jamaica to learn the culture to bring it back overseas. So, um, we're actually doing a big thing for Jamaica right now as dancers because, um, we dancers make um a lot of tourists came into the country just to learn our culture. You know, most of us does yeah, get... Yeah, culture um, tourism. Yeah, yeah. So you don't know, most of us doesn't get um the recognize that we're supposed to as dancer, you know? So basically some people will say, yo, the boy, they are dancer. I'm a waste in time, blah, blah, blah. You understand? <laughs> That's basically some people would say that. You see me? So as we can really let them, them know and feel the situation. So, and the father topic, you know, the abuse of my child. Yeah, tell us, tell us everything, like nobody knows what's going on. Yeah, so, um, Saturday, I was at a video shoot. As I said, I'm a dance teacher, I'm a dancer, so. Yesterday, um, Saturday, I was at a video shoot, a vice mail video shoot, right? With when I get a phone call from my baby mom, my baby mama live in Bagwalk, 
St. Catherine. So I got a call from her when I was in the middle of the video shoot. I got a call from her crying. So the phone that she was using is actually someone's phone. So I got a call from her um, crying. Said, um, Jamari is bleeding. So I was like, what do you mean? So Jamari is, is my son. That's the name of my two-year-old son. So I was like, how old is he? What? Three, three years old. So I was like, what do you mean his face is bleeding? I don't understand. You need to calm down and explain to me so you, I can understand because she was in her temper and she was crying. So I couldn't like heard what she was saying. So I told her like, um, you need to relax and talk to me so I could understand what you're saying to me. And she, she couldn't relax because of the temper where she, were, she was crying. So she was saying, um, Jamari is bleeding. Um, so I was like, what, what do you mean? Um, is, she was saying um, her boyfriend lay hands on my son. And I was like, what? I don't understand what do you mean. And she was like, yes, he lay hands on your son. And it's really bad. Okay, so I was like, I was so traumatized. I, um, I asked her some time and I walked away from the shoot to um, talk to her more. So it wasn't her phone. So I said to her, um, where are you? And she said she's in um, Bagwalk in a place called Gube. And she, she, in that place, you cannot get cars or whatever, you know? So I tell her um, to walk and see if she could get any um, cars on the road or, in, or anybody that could assist her to um, rush with her to, and the baby to the hospital to get um, dressed because it was bleeding. So she did that. Because, as I said, it was not her phone. So she gave back the person the phone that she called me. And I, I, before she hung up, I told her, bring the baby to the hospital. Whenever you get to the hospital, try to get um, someone phone and call me. All right. So she hung up. And I wait like, I wait like four hours. So later that evening, um, she called me back. And then she sent me some um, pictures. She sent me two pictures from her sister phone to my phone. That is, um, I'm going to show you guys the picture that um, she sent to me. Hold on. Mars, step on the live. So um, I'm going to show you guys the, the, the picture that she sent to me. When I saw this picture, and I look at my son, I was very traumatized. So she sent me this picture of my son. So when she sent me this picture, as I said, I was very traumatized. My heart started beating. You know, I didn't, I wasn't thinking straight and stuff like that. So I asked her, what happened? I was trying to be so calm. I asked her what happened. So she told me she was in a fight with her boyfriend, right? Like a relationship fight. So when she was in the fight with her boyfriend, like the baby was, the baby run in, the baby run into it, like, like the baby was like, um, leave mommy alone, like licking the guy and say, leave mommy alone. And she told me that the guy, take up my son with like one arms like this and throw him away like that. You know? So I was like, <laughs> oh God. I was like, um, I was like, okay. So. Take a time, brother. Take a time. Take a time, brother. Take a time. Uh, after that, after that happened, oh. take your time, Papa. Mm. 
Anyway, all right. Um, after that happened and stuff, I called her on her sister phone. I asked her what 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 did she what did she do? So um, I asked her what did she do, right? Or did she what if she if she if did she um get a paper from the hospital to bring to the police station? She told me no. So I was thinking like you should um you should get a paper from the um the police station the hospital to bring to the police station right so she told me she didn't get no um no paper from the hospital so i told her to bring the baby back to the um to the bagua police station because she was um her sister living in bagua so i told her um bring the, the baby back to the um police station and explain to them what happened right so she went back to the police station um and they take they tell her that um she have to go to the community which is in Gube at that location where the incident takes place. So they have a police station in that community. They so they tell her to go there to um file a report. They cannot help her there. So she come back home and call me and tell me all of that. I was like, no, yo, that's not how we go. Go back to the police station. Let them know you're scared to go in the community and it's not possible to go around that side to make a report. If you're going to make a report at that police station, um, they should take you as um, police. So she went back and then she filed a report. I guess she talked to another officer and she filed a report and everything. So when she get back now, again, from the police station, she was talking to me. So I asked her, did you press charge on that guy? She didn't answer me. She was quiet. And I was like, yo, you press charge on that guy or not? And she said no. So I just hang up the phone same time, right? I cut the phone off. The picture that she sent to me um, that, that night... The picture that she sent to me, I post. I decided to post um, those pictures on my social media, on my platform, so I could get justice because she didn't press charge, and I want more people to see this so I can um, I, I, I can get um, more people to see what happened with this situation because people didn't know, didn't know about this situation, right? So I posted on my platform explaining and expressing myself how I felt about the situation and what happened. So um, it went viral. In the morning when I wake up, it went viral. People were calling me from all over. CDC, the Gleaner, the, the, um, the, the Star, and uh, some inspector was calling me as well. So I decided um, to take it in my hand personally to make file a report. So I went to Bagwalk early in the morning, which is this morning, because, you know, um, Sunday was locked down, which is no movement day. So I, I, couldn't, I couldn't move on that day. So I wait until Monday, which is today. I went early to take up um, things in my own hands, right? So when I went to the Bagwag police um, station, I stopped by her sister house in Bagwag and I saw her and the baby. So I, I bring her and we both go to the um, police station together. And then she filed another report and I explained to um, the police that I need this guy to be behind bars because look what he did to my son, like, you know? So I need this guy to be behind bars, no question asked, you know? So I, I, I filed a report and I pressed charge fully on this guy. They, um, and then they left with my baby mom to um, go to the guy house to look for him. Which when they went there, there was no sign of him. Maybe he hide or something, I'm not sure. So um, an inspector gave me his number said um they will keep me posted whenever they find this person they will let me know but they will not stop until they find him because i press fully charge on him right and cd cda reached out to me so i could get 
um, full custody of my son. Right? So, as I was explaining from earlier on, right, I'm a dance teacher. I travel. When I'm not traveling, I have students who came to Jamaica. Sometimes they will come to my location. Sometimes um, I have to be at their location because they don't want to come to my location. So it's like vice versa, right? So the situation that I am in at this moment to be a full-time father, it's very, like, it's very hard for me. So I reach out to um, my baby mama, mother, which lives in Portmore. And I explained to her everything, you know? And she said to me, even if I want to press charge on her daughter, she's with me 100% because her daughter is a foolish girl. That's what she told me. So she said, I already know what you do, kind of work, whatever, whatever, you know. He's my grandson, so he will, he have no problem to take care of my grandson. So now my son is at Portmore at his grandmother's house. So he's, he's not with um, his mother no more. So he's, he's now at um, Portmore in, with, with his grandma. So like um, CDA, they need to um, reach out back to me to give me um, more details and stuff like that because they need to get more details from me and the, um, the grandmothers as, as well because now it's going to be like um, two, two parents who are responsible for the kids, me and his grandmother, right? It's like when I'm not present, he's going to be in the hands of his grandma. Yeah. So I I really appreciate that because now, you know, I, I work my ass off just to take care of my kids, you know. As I said, dancing is my job. That's how I make my money. And when I make my money I do my best to um make sure my kids are, are okay and you know everything. So my kid is safe and As a, as, a, as a single father right now, I think my aim is um, I'm going to um, try to raise like a, a girlfriend so I can like um, I can I can like have a good start with him, you know, no struggle or nothing like that. So I'm going to try to raise a GoFund for him so I can get um, things that I need and stuff like that. I still have to take him to a proper hospital, maybe like a private hospital to get checked and everything because he also have like um, bandage and stuff on his shoulder. Even though he said he's not feeling no pain, but you know, things can happen early um, later. So I have to like get him fully checked up, checked up and stuff like that, which I have like a prescription as well, but I have to get a lot of um, medication for him and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I'm, what I'm, what I'm trying to do to um, get stuff together to, to make a start as a daddy. Yeah? All right. Yeah. Um, well, Jamal, but I'm not, as a father, yeah. when I first heard and I first read the story. I was so calm. Yeah, for real. So I have to commend you on taking a step back and saying, hey, let me deal with it in this manner. Yeah, definitely. My father taught me that before he died. That's why. Yeah, my father teach me something. Else. <laughs> uh, so I have to commend you there. Um, there are certain things, I mean, and this is your recollection. You no, know, it is, let say every story of two sides, and I appreciate you sharing your friend. Yeah. So there are two other persons on the live. Um, of course, you have Nigos who talk like my co-host and stuff. And yeah, then yeah. another gentleman whose expertise in yeah. not just your specific situation, but generally 
situations yeah. like the you know i would i would like to to have him you know share some of his input now um so right here we have mr isaac buchanan um i, I don't know me know so with doctors they have doctor blah 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 no no no, 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 no i don't know how lawyers do it either. well this this lawyer just Isaac Buchanan, the, the, the labels and the titles beyond that is of no more. But um, I want to say thanks for including me in this discussion, um, especially since I, do, I don't know how you did it, sir, but my inbox was filled with a whole heap of Jamaicans and people from across the diaspora saying that I need to find you and assist you. But I must commend you for doing your best with what knowledge you have and ensuring that you use the law rather than ignorance because this could have been a different situation um i have some unpopular opinions having heard your story and i don't want i want you to take wisdom from it um and think things to think about as um as black men and how we relate to our ex-partners when when things go bad so i want to start by i want to start off by saying i i want you to appreciate even if you don't do it now having thought about it that your baby mother is a victim of domestic violence and you did get you did money to get your son out of a toxic environment which is what i would hope that all fathers do when relationship to break down and the baby mother is elsewhere but also to I, understand that in this can you hear me yeah um yeah, jamal mute mute the microphone please i don't know if the feedback is just coming from um just i sat speaking but everybody says microphone is muted Wait in the day, say when iPhone and um, Android mix. Like you have some, your, your phone plugging on a charger or something. Yeah, no? yeah, my phone plugging on. But now I have one. It just stopped a while ago. So it looked like it looked like on the Androids because iPhones is the best phone. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, get, uh, get uh, me, yeah, me go, me go, me go. The iPhone. Yeah, man. <laughs> me have an Android, me go to my iPhone, and we would open the live when I have this. Uh, I'm just trying to tell you. Everybody, yeah, man. everybody apart from iPad, just um, just mute the microphone. Just open it when you're speaking. Okay. All right, yeah. So I, I was saying that we need to appreciate right now as I'm speaking that the baby mother is still in a toxic situation. She is a victim, and I would hope that um, regardless of the circumstances, that she's seen and treated as that, like that. Now, in terms of what the government is supposed to do, you say CDA reached out to you. Um, they are combined now as what what they call CPSA, which is Child Protection and Family Services Agency. So it's supposed to be a new a new agency that is supposed to um pretty much assist you assist you a lot a lot better with a little more um bigger than than what they have done so far. So I'll take this opportunity not to say that I'm criticizing the government, but you guys would have seen there was a, a little young boy who said he wanted to be a gunman when he when he grew up. I don't know if you guys saw that. And they, they it took them two days to find the parent, find the guardian, find everybody, and everybody is in trouble because the little boy said he wants to be a gunman. Um, in this situation, when I saw that picture, I was very concerned that you having made your pleas and your cries that the, the attention needed, it didn't reach you the way it was supposed to reach you. I must let you know that. But notwithstanding, um, it is actually the CPSFA who is supposed to conduct the investigation and not necessarily the, the way how the JCF would have managed it is not with the same vigor that's needed. What you need to know is that every neighbor, every 
person, every taxi man, every every adult that was in that environment that would have heard the con heard the argument, they have a duty to report. And every single person in that in that place in Bagua that you spoke of that didn't bring didn't provide assistance that didn't help that that man whoever is he shouldn't even be able to leave Bagua. They have a duty to report and they can be charged. And that is what the JCF should have done. And so those officers, when they, when she walked however far and walked into that police station and made the report, they also have a duty under the Act, Child Care and Protection Act, to do all that is necessary. And their failure to do it could result in them being charged as well. Whether or not the system works like that, that's how serious it is. So you could have been very frustrated and you would have needed a lawyer because you committed murder. Because they failed to assist you the way they assist you. Couple that with a no movement day after something happened to your son and you can't move. Because chances are, had you moved, you would have been charged with the disaster risk management because you're not a member of parliament so you don't get a free pass. So, so yeah, you, you, you need to pretty much appreciate that aspect of it. Um, I have one that, anybody, yeah. have, anybody have anybody in their vicinity watching the live who's on a different? Man, no. I watch live. Or somebody, or you have another device on with the no, light. It must have about close to you. It must have about close to you. No, 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 no. No, to the close to your fine. And, and nobody has a device that's on recording or anything like that. Anybody screen recording, by the way? No. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't know what, what's causing the noise. We don't know. We don't know. We mute the microphone. Wait. All right. You know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do. It's a, it's a quick fix. Everybody just come off the... No, not all at once. Just by one. One by one. Just jump off the line. Um, come off and then come back on and I'll re add you. Maybe that needs to happen. So, hold on, Negus first. I'm gonna come off for this. Uh, um, I'm gonna kick you off. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You gone up? All right, still an echo. All right, hold on. Yeah, if I take you off, just 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 re and just put back on the live. Alright, can I start on the jammer? Yeah, 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 man. Echo is still. Land it. Yeah. No. Me no one of me people. It's not me. It is not me. And me alone have an Android phone, and it's not me. No, it's not me. There's no echo now. I know me. Is that echo? Is it echoing? It's not echoing. Yeah. Yeah. No? Yeah. Are you clear? No echo. It's not the Android. Don't disrespect me again. <laughs> no, I'm using it. I Listen, I, I, I'm talking Mac, smack and it's the Android I'm using. Apologize. Apologize <laughs> to the Android user, sir. All hail Android. All right. Okay. <laughs> I screen recorded that, just that part. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, until he comes back on, Jamal yeah. and Lucas, um, I want to say for Jamal now, we are at Jamal now. You will see. Yeah. Echo? Nothing? Good? Nothing. Nothing so far. Good. All yeah. right. Yeah. Wait, wait. Wait. No, something go on now. Yeah, the echo come back. It come back. Jamal is something in your Jamal, don't move, Jamal. Come back on, Jamal. Jamal, come back on. Wait. Something going on. Somebody watching a TV in your house? When I know, when I know, when I know. Wants to stop. 
And we must figure this out tonight, you know. It's not you alone as a good lawyer can work out the details, you know. I, I think um, my girl had just shot me while ago and she said, uh, my boy, the phone plug in for the charger, so. They plug it out. Sure yeah, they plug it out, but there is some distortion, like somebody watching a TV or something I in the background. I don't something else. Maybe, maybe him phone too loud. Try to turn on the volume by your phone, I say. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Um, but but, but um, until he adds, until he comes back on, I said, the yeah, first thing I wanted to ask you is really sure. no movement day. If there's something, <laughs> if something like no man, if something like this, if it's so serious, it's this serious, mm -hmm. I need to make a report about something that's endangering your life. Is that going against the? Um, the no movement orders. So, I, <laughs> you know, so they know to set me up. I was talking about no, saying that. Not, because it's no, no, so I would say this. Any right minded thinking person must understand if something threatens your life, you have a right, even on a no movement day, to take action. And the action that you would be taking would be going straight to the police station. You have to go there. And so then when you have, when you get there, you will you will pay. It all depends, you know, the deck of cards. You're gonna come across somebody who is who is probably going to want to strictly enforce it. But the enforcement of these no movement days are fully questionable in light of the, the fact that there was a big dance kept and you know, that whole thing with a member of parliament saying, all hail, no movement day, recognizing that no movement day is puppet show business and foolishness and nonsense. So, um, although Jamal respected the no movement day and waited, one can understand the type of trauma that he experienced having to wait a whole day before he could seek redress for what happened to him. So I'm saying that without apology. If something were to happen to you during a normal moment, you, you need to do what you must and right-minded thinking persons will understand that during that movement, it would, it would, it would act as an exemption of some sort. Turn, turn on your phone, Jamal. Turn on your phone. Turn on the phone. Maybe it's very low. Just turn, it, turn it on the phone. Yeah, oh, that's all. better. Yeah, that's much better actually. So your phone was loud. Oh, yeah, yeah. man. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. You see, you see what I want that's on Father Digos for the live. You understand what I'm dealing with? Digos, ah, figure ah, it ah, out, ah, man. Where's the Nigo? Nigo, where's the technical <laughs> support? Yeah, technical support. <laughs> technical <laughs> support. Brought to you by Nigos. Um, yeah. Um, but, but, hold on, hold on, Isaac. Um, just like last night, if you, guys, if you have questions, not necessarily about the specific um, thing that happened with happening with Jamal. And Jamal, I must applaud you, brother. I was going to ask you that in sharing your story that you don't call any names or any sort of certain details. And I appreciate that because at the end of the day, because you have made a report now that it's something that is now for the law to handle. And I don't want you any information you put here would anyhow jeopardize the effectiveness of it. Right, so I have to applaud you for that. But if guys, if you have any questions regarding just a general scenario like that, do not type it in the comments. Send it another question, the send another question um, feature, and then we can read it later on. I said, sorry for cutting you off. Go on. Yeah, man, that's fine. So I was just saying that where where that no movement day is concerned. Um, if there, if there is an emergency, I know that right-minded thinking officers, they certainly would not interfere with you and they would provide the support. So much as, much as we, we, we make joke about it, and I mean, that is my opinion that no movement is this nonsense, especially because, you know, COVID decided that after three weeks of, you know, running around during the four days, it decided that it's only going to do it on Sundays, the day of worship, when you're not a seven-day Adventist. So Sunday people can't get to God because Corona bothered on God on a Sunday. 
What can I say? I'm sorry, but I got to I got to just put stuff there like that. It's just it's just a reality, but um yeah, that's for that. Not so, so what people must understand though is that if we exercise self-discipline as a nation, we will have to be treated like we're playing 1 2 3 for red light and you know, that's that's how that is con that's how we deal with that. But no movement there is nonsense. Yeah, so moving on from that. Yeah, all right, let me ask, let me ask. Okay. <laughs> Separate apart from what's happening with Jamal. Yes. If a mother or a father finds themselves where their child is being endangered by their partner, is that neglect? What 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 does that what does that constitute? So as in if they so if the partner all right, put it, you see, you're talking so decent. So if a woman have a picnic and she's there with a man and she the man ready for beat her and beat the picnic and she does nothing, she's in trouble. She's in breach of the law. That's child neglect. You can't put your child in a dangerous situation and fail to protect them. So you can't just stay there and not do anything. But mind you, um, if I'm to use Jamal's situation, she did a lot. She called, she called the father immediately. Um, she was caught between also being a victim. And she did her best Hold on. in second. the circumstances. Yeah. Um, are you muted? this? Are you muted? this? You see the microphone already, right there, sir? Below your video? Below my video? Yeah. Yeah, there's, um, there's, there, there, there are three things there. One, you can, you can flip the camera. It has two points like this. Like this. Yeah. That one yeah, is to flip the camera. There's another one to turn off the camera. It looks like a little camera. And the other one looks like a microphone. If you press the microphone one, it mutes it. See? No, no. Yeah. Two of them did it. Only the arrow to flip the camera and a filter. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. Maybe, maybe the I'll, iPhone, maybe, is the maybe, iPhone maybe or um, Android. 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 What's that? Um, the, the, first, the first version, the first one I've ever make. <laughs> you know, say no, you know, say, but now I make you do that to Jamal because I the latest one me have an army, see, I the two are them and, and, and the pretty something for the filter. No mic, no daddy. We just turn on mine when the time comes. So, yeah, it's the S10 me I use, S10 plus. So, I don't know. It, it, it should be like at the, at, at the, the, the base. If, if you touch the screen, it, sh it should come up. You should see it. If you touch the screen, the microphone thing should come up. No, 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 no come up, Mr. It's still the same thing. Go on, dear thing, man. We're not listening, brother. We're not listening. All right. Anyway, um, right. So I I'm saying if it's, a, if it's neglect. So if it, if, if it is a man now who have the child and his woman is abusing the child and innocent about it, he made it, that's even worse. That's even worse because, you know, let me tell you why it's worse. Listen, you know, we live in a society where, you know, males are the more, the more powerful sex. So clearly, you're not going to have your woman there beating your child and she getting out with it. You must, you must be in a position to allow it. Unless he's a soft man or, you know, you have one of them Miss Kitty kind of. Yeah. Wow. That, yeah. yeah. So, so does the law would frown um would it come down harder on the man if he's allow if, if he allows that to happen i mean we're talking about we're not talking about cultural perception or public perception we're talking about legally the legality of it no so no so what what so what what happens you know is that judges are going to assess the situation and i mean we live in a patriarchal society there is an assumption that um males are are more dominant in that type of environment as a stronger sex so if a woman is beating the child and the man does nothing clearly he's allowing it i can't you can't envision a woman beating a child and a man going to say don't beat the child and then get beat up by the woman that's what, that's laughable in a society that's how society looked at it and so that that bias perception is just a reality that we have to deal with no, in terms I, I, of how, I, I, yeah but in terms of how the child how the 
the law will deal with it. Right. It's just recognizing that, you know, these things are not one-off instances either, you know. So when the CFPSA or CDA or whatever they call themselves these days, when they start their investigation, one will definitely, I, 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 can, I can bet on it. This isn't the first time that this type of conduct would have happened in terms of the disagreement between the man and the woman. Um, it, uh, it is just escalating and what Jamal would have done in his situation is to prevent what we would have seen probably two or three times this year where a child dies in the custody of a, a, a new boyfriend slash new girlfriend scenario, which is not, it's not uncommon. He, so that is... You want to know? He, he, he will know. Jamal, you will recognize when you when you set up your GoFundMe and you get the, the support that you need that what you did is uh, is extraordinary. Nobody should downplay what you did. Um, not only because of this scenario in terms of not because we're having this conversation now, but because a lot of people are sitting down when they're in your situation saying, I wish I would have done this or I wish I would have done that. And we can add to it that thank God that if the child wasn't hurt, your son wasn't hurt more than he was. Uh, even though when I look at the injury, he might need some form of um, cosmetic surgery. And, and so there should be some support system for that as well. Let me ask this, Isa. Mm -hmm. You are not the mother nor the father. You are, you are on the outside. It could be a neighbor, it could be a friend. You are aware of this happening. What are the steps that you can take? What are your boundaries? What are your limitations? Born, when it comes to a child, there are no limitations. In fact, um, you call the police. That is not snitching. This is we're talking about a child. When it comes to a child, as soon as it comes within your knowledge, you have a duty to that child to protect that child. Every child of this country is a child of an adult. So we, we, we have gone long beyond the days where we have community raising a child by the community. You know, it takes a village to raise a child. That's, that's the spirit of the act. And so if you're a neighbor, it's not only when people doing do doing, doing in them house, you take out your phone and make nice TikTok videos. You always be we're in the age where when if you don't want to do nothing, video it and present the evidence. But you have a duty to that child. So I will say that. So we I'm, must I, learn so how if, to be responsible with the use of our, our, if, our devices. So if, if I'm home and me see my neighbor them in a fight and thing and the child is being endangered. I can run, go grab out the pit and carry him to the police station and say, this is what going on and, and, and just carry the child come up here because I think the child is in danger. Yeah, you can, you, you, you can do that, but the most important thing to do is so just call the police or call CPFSA or call CDA. No, I, mean, I mean, in a situation where you, you don't know if by the time they get there, because no, well, then, yeah, you take you take evas evasive action, but even without even without um taking the child to the police, usually when even in a situation where the child is not in harm, there you be in a community and they're shoot out in the community. It's not just to run for cover. You're supposed to do the heroic thing and protect the children, protect children in hostile environments that is not only domestic violence related. That's why I'm trying to, to stress how much it is that if a child is walking on the road from school, you know, in the days when school used to keep that don't happen in Jamaica anymore. Nobody goes to school anymore. But that's another thing. But back in the days when kids used to go on buses and go to school and they wear the car key and the uniform, when they cross in the road, they have a duty to stop. They have a duty to make sure that they get across the road. They have a duty to try to protect them from the taxi men who drive crazy and kill them all. You have that duty. So it's not just it's not just in domestic situations. So when we're talking about our nation's children, we all have a duty. And once it comes in our knowledge, we are guilty of an offense by 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 ignoring it and doing nothing.
it's, it's, it's why may I ask? Because we have developed this culture of, of you know, one of my business, so I left it alone. Or, or, um, they pick up the phone and ready for video. Or them like, you know, and them leave it alone. But you have people genuinely out there who want to help and don't know what they should do. Where are they? What are the legal ramifications? Well, like I would have said, let me make it clear again. The legal ramifications ought to be that when you do nothing and it is, it is within your knowledge, you have committed an offense. So if you are truly concerned, yeah, you are everybody. Just the I do, if I never knew Jamal and, and the child and I was just going to bug walk, just driving through, and I look across and I see the man throw the child and I continue on my way. Somebody know if it, it comes within my knowledge, my moral compass and my, my duty is to ensure that um, I do something. Let's say, for instance, a camera, somebody was videoing, and I stopped, and I was watching, and I was like, and do nothing and drive off. The officers, if they get the person who actually made the video, and the video is going into evidence, an officer, overzealous officer who really is in tune with knowing what the law is, could look and say, I recognize this license plate. I saw the actions of this particular driver, he's aware and he did nothing. And there is something in law called crimes of omission. And that's how you can get charged? Yes, because the, the law said there's no duty to act. That's the law. But that's a general rule. But except in certain circumstances. And so these would be contractual duty, creating a dangerous situation, statutory duty, which is in this case, the Child Care and Protection Act, which puts a duty on all adults to protect children. And there are, there are others, like special relationship and voluntary assumptions. For instance, if the child is living with the baby mother and the boyfriend, he has voluntarily assumed. So it's not just... It's not just the, the damage, but he can also be charged for um, bringing harm to the child, child neglect, all of that, because he had a duty of care to the child. I was just about to ask that. In, in, in a situation like this, what are the charges that will be levied against or be laid on the, the perpetrator, the, the man who beat up the child? And is it that just the child or the mother too? Or, um, what? What? what, what, what what is he what would he be charged for and what is the if convicted what what is the maximum sentence or the maximum punishment so when i saw what happened to that child i don't know how i don't know i don't know if it's just superficial but i saw the photo with the bandage and then i saw the photo after with his dad um it is it is certainly it can give rise to wounding with intent or unlawful wounding so it's not just an assault and a battery it is it is actually we're at the wounding with intent it's, um stage and that's it's a serious it's, it's actually serious huh that's for the child yeah no, as in the man the, the man who hurt the child yeah but so he so, could he, so child abuse is 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 that is yeah, are those charges, you're the weird at the background, Nigos. Is that is that is are those charges like branches of child abuse or is child abuse? Yeah, man, but so, so you see, you see, it is child abuse. We know it's child abuse, but I'm saying that a properly worded information would take what he did to 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 charge him with the highest crime, so that the learned DPP and her office, well, now it's the right now the Mr. Jeremy Taylor is at the you say I must have said names, but yeah, and and, and he, he he loves the little children and he protects them. I'm not being I'm not being facetious when I said this. So he would certainly ensure that the big stick, the hardest part of the law would reach this person and they would go for the highest charge. Okay. Which and uh, right, so which would be wounding with in, wounding with intent if the medical report comes back sufficiently and based on what I saw of the child and the fact that I certainly as a father would say but listen somebody got to give my child plastic surgery when it's okay to do so it's not just it wasn't just superficial wounds so let me ask, take it like this, this, question for, this question is for the dad um 
bro, were there additional wounds um, separate and aside from the ones on his face? Did he have like on his body? Did he have wounds on his body and stuff like that? Um, he, he had um, like the same um, scratch and bruises on his arm and shoulder. Did it look like it was like a thump or a slap or like a belt or what, 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 what kind of wounds did it look like? Like it looked like he was dragged, like he was dragged by someone on the floor, like something like that. Oh, same so back scrape up. Yeah. Oh. Like on, like on, like on the um, in left side of him face, come to him arm like this, I guess. Bomba. Yeah, so so there, there there is a certain amount of trauma that came with that. So it is a matter for the medical report, but that's what you would be looking at because it certainly was intentional. But when you're talking about trauma, is it something that and you are not, you are you are a lawyer, you are not a medical professional, but in in your expertise, who would need who would need some counseling to 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 get through this process? What part is? What is TikTok? That's Jamal. Yeah, Jamal needs it. The mother needs it. Um, the child needs it. The child is definitely going to need it. Um, but I, I'm sure wherever he is now, he feels a certain form of comfort because his father came to his rescue. His grandmother is there. And that's why I'm also reaching out to say that we are to recognize that the mother is a victim. Jamal would have said, said that her mother said she not. I don't, I'm paraphrasing, but she probably had said she fool or she not bright or something, but recognize that she was a victim in that situation. There, it was some domestic violence that was going on. And she also needs a type of counseling and she doesn't need to be excluded from the child's life because the child needs... Um, child really always need both parents and the child certainly don't need to be wondering what mommy did why mommy not around as well as to ask he was he went to his mother's defense so he loves his mother so he doesn't need to no harm should come to the mother i wouldn't even encourage cpsfa to try to charge the mother but must recognize that she is a victim of domestic violence and she must be in a position to be separated from that relationship because you can see she was torn between charging the new boyfriend and and and, and her child which is a, which is why she needs therapy and counseling a pin the comment a pin the question you can look at it and answer it you, you touched on it a little bit a while ago but um yes address this directly and yeah, I did say it. Um, I, charges can be laid on her for child neglect, and that would be based on um, the investigation by the CDA or CDA, whichever arm of the CPFSA does it and find that this was a situation that she knew was happening. And if they question the child and the child say, yeah, mommy and Devon or whatever his name is, is always fighting then there is some form of neglect there. That's why I was saying that I would encourage that she gets help rather than turning her into a criminal. Because we have a habit of turning ordinary men and women into criminals in this country. That's the mandate of our current government. Them can't beat me no more bad. Yeah, but a duck and shepherd life it depends, sir. <laughs> but anyway, go on. Yeah. So is that another question? Right. Would you say it is more ben beneficial to contact the CPS? Yes, it is. It is actually the CPFSA that you contact. Um, the, the JCF does not do well with domestic violence. And you can appreciate why. Um, they... they they are also human beings and they are torn between what they do in their domestic situations as well. And so you may come across uh, a situation where when a woman is being beaten, she go and report it and she go into a, a police station and the man that she got to report it to also beats his woman. So she said, go on. He said, go on and go work that out. It's not a reflection of the JCF. It's just that 
family law and domestic violence is a sensitive topic. It is a lot of things that happens in the private home, and there's a little bit more training that is required. And the PPFSA and their staff are sensitive to that. So when it comes to matters like rape and um, sexual abuse of minors, you want to go to the proper um, branch that deals with that investigation. And this, this this hasn't come up because I guess here um, Jamal hasn't alluded to it or mentioned it at all. Oftentimes, the situations like the the perpetrator, especially if it's a man, is someone to be feared or you are fearful of reprisal from him. Say you're gonna report to police, then you know say it's not gonna go so. Because we have seen that where the mother is fearful to report it. Um, and, and, and this man have certain influence or certain links to be able to use use said links and, and, and said influence to bully the situation, if I understand what I mean, or be a threat. What what do you do in a situation like that? You do what Jamal do, you go to the police. But the police can't do on the twenty four seven. No, so I don't think so. I, I don't think that Jamal is even concerned about it. That's the thing, you know. No, no, I'm not asking to, about Jamal. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, and I'm saying, I'm telling you about the mindset. There's no situation where your child is in danger that you compromise not protecting your child. Or, or, or that's why I'm using Jamal to say that he's an example of what to do in situations, which is to remove the child. He never said, woman, come back to me. I will protect you. He says, let me get my offspring. And he also said to the public, I am a dancer. The, 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 the current government is taking my bread because of lockdown, the dance hall. And I have to bring in my students from Switzerland, these nice white girls, and teach them how to wind up themselves. That's what he said. So I can't even keep my child because I don't have the things in place. This is what he articulated, and he gave the child to his baby mother's mother. So that's rational thinking. He didn't just say, I'm going to take the child and then say, come, we'll go dance class and have the child around him. He puts the child in a safe environment. Which is sensible. Sensible, because if CPFA, SA come and start to investigate Jamal's living situation, they're going to say, mother can't take the child because ex ex boyfriend beating up picnic jamal can't keep the child because he's always on the road dancing let's put the child in guess where state prison care. prison we don't yeah. call it state care prison state here is horrible where, where 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 they get to um sexually abuse the child and treat them bad and lock them up and sometimes them get burned up state, and then catch COVID. Care. they catch COVID, and then they want vaccinate them and everything that is bad yeah i'm just saying I'm not trying to be controversial here. I'm just telling you the reality. Yeah, it, it is. It is. Uh, let me ask you this. Real. Me as a father, me hear that. I me hear this man, as, as Jamal put it, laid hands. You can, you can know, say, I watch him, I watch him, I'm far in movie, and I'm saying, laid hands. He's traveled. Jamal is well traveled. He's traveled. He's yes. traveled. Yes, yes, yes. yes. No, but him, him lit my picnic. Yeah, I mean, I take it so, and in my in 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 that heightened state, I'm gonna look for him. I find him and chop off her hand. Is the law gonna look at it in the state? No, you are going prison. Prison, my boy. Prison, straight prison. And you, I, I just told you a while ago. If it's one thing. If there's one thing the state don't have a problem doing is to put you in prison. It's the easiest thing to do. So and why, have, and why once again, I'm going to guarantee you this. Um, if CPFSA know what they're doing, they will make a commercial with, 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 with Jamal and he will become an ambassador of, of what a male parent from a broken home would do. Because when you see males in Jamaica, we don't get... We don't get no props when we do right as fathers, you know. 
We're always the bad guys. So if they know what they're doing, they will tell you what they, they will say, Jamal, this is what you're supposed to do when things aren't right. Because if he would be a criminal tomorrow, they would they somebody in khaki suit will say, Jamal report to the Bagua police station, your personal interest because you chop off the man and escape in nearby bushes. And then, you know, somebody else will say they'll do a probe and spend $52 million as to why Jamal had chopped off somebody's hand. So, that being I said... Talk, I talk, stop. Just all right, stop. I can't, I can't, I, well, I'm, I can't help myself. Well, all right, go ahead. Yeah. I'm giving, you, I'm giving you all the facts. I'm telling you how it goes. So, so, so... Antics and all. Here's what I'm saying. The law works. Justice works in Jamaica. I'm being serious now. And we must appreciate that the JTF is there to do their job. If you allow them to actually do their job and you do what Jamal do, which is cooperate, complain, be persistent. So when they don't want to do their job, you go and say, but you are supposed to. And you social media we're in a space where when people are to do what they're supposed to do and they don't do it and you blast them on the internet they do it so quick even if they call a probe after they cut off your dreadlocks in a in a in a prison cell and they're spending 52 million dollars to find out if a police officer did it you would understand they're still doing it and that's what's important <laughs> but no you're not <laughs> <laughs> a moment of silence for, stop. for the job of stuff. All right, people. Stop the the man needs it. I will push. The man needs it. I will. Like man talk. Stop. 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 No, yeah. you're, you're like you know, like you understand. Know, him, 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 him. <laughs> He's a lawyer. What do you expect? I'm just saying. spreading the knowledge. I want nobody to lay hands on me. All right. That, that, uh, Jamal, um, yeah. General, we can tell you that. As I said, I respect you for how you handle the situation. Yeah, yeah. Because nine and a half out of ten Jamaican men probably wouldn't. Yeah, true. And that's nine and a half out of ten of Jamaican men who are actually living up to the responsibility of their child. Yeah. Of them children. Because you have some you have some Jamaican man who not doing nothing and you have some who are doing the best that they can. Being yeah. a father don't necessarily mean say you're around the child every day living in the same house and all that. Sometimes yeah, true. you have to do the best that you can based on your situation. So I applaud you, General, as a young youth, because you can easily well just say, Oh, I'm in a business about this and you understand something. I applaud you for that. Respect yeah. that. Keep, keep fighting the fight and and I, I hope, I really hope that they find the whoever responsible and he's brought to justice. He's, he's, he's hiding? Definitely. No, they're not finding him all now. No, they're not finding him. They're not finding him all now. Um, I got in contact with the um, inspector from the bug walk. So um, when they, whenever they find him, they will um, inform me. Okay. And, so they, and inform, then, they will inform you of the court dates. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, but in, in, you are there, I'm just, just curious. He's hiding? Yeah, yeah, I guess he's hiding. Is he a, city, is he, is he a citizen of Jamaica? Yeah, de yeah. So he was born here? Yeah, man. He, yeah. Has, a government, he has a government name? Yes. It starts with a B? No, no, no. Leave it alone, the man. I start with no one. I'm, no. I'm, I'm, right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the name. I, I don't okay, know. Okay, okay, all right, all right. If you're not sure, all right. Yeah, I don't know the name. Don't know the name. I start this. If you want, if, Jamal, if you want to reach out to I start after this, I talk to him. Then you talk to him. Because... All right, no problem. <laughs> Next thing you hear, you niggas are flying over Jamaica. Come give testimony. Oh, yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 testimony for one. Let me tell you something. Listen, let me tell you something. Witness. Come on, hey, liar. Take it easy, let me tell you. No, I stop my say. I say, Jamal, you just contact me, and I, 
I would say his name Wednesday morning on CVM at Sunrise. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. Please, 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 do that. Please, do that. Please, do that. Please. No, oh, carry me, carry me. It, 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 it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know, but you know, I, I, you know, it's, it's only R. Kelly alone, them say theme name, don't? And Bill Cosby. Yeah. You must say their names and shame, shame, shame the abusers. Say their names. Well, he was a Everybody from the life will ask theme name, you know. They want to know. <laughs> somebody know. The thing is, somebody knows somebody. And if this is hiding, I'm going to tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yes, everybody is being for blood for this brother because it's in the public space. No follow the funny life a hypocrite because these same things happen on our house. It happened with no family, it had happened with a neighbor, it have so I know not say nothing about it. So low Jamal make Jamal do the same thing. I stop going like as if both no one name and picture that brother there. Deal with the situations around Uno because most of you know stuff like that. It's not a matter of it's a secret. It's a matter that it's, it's in the police's hands. It, it's in the, the, the relevant authorities' hands. Make them deal with it. We can't try it yes, you know, We can't try and convince no, them. No, right no, it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's not a try. It is not a try. We must have consistency within our society. Right. It must be a case, and, and, and this is a practice that must, that must be cut out. We're talking about equality, with everything right it cannot it cannot be that one person does something put it this way a person of interest as soon as soon as i just gonna say a random name as soon as tom stokes does something and he's from a particular ghetto the police are on you don't even, you don't even know what him do them telling tom stokes to report to the police station Right. And put as a person of interest and they put his picture all over. Right. And no, there's no retraction after that. And I'm not saying anything. I, 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 I'm saying that with that practice, it can't be that when other persons do stuff, they don't put their names or they don't say their names because they have to protect their interests. That, that's a, that is fear. That is fear. That, that's, that's all I'm saying. I'm sorry. Right. No, 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 that is fear. But it, it's not going to happen on, on a forum like this, um, one where, because the fact of the matter is, we all sympathize with Jamal, all sympathize with his son, with his family. And he is going to now name, put a name out there. And this is just me, literally, just in fear. Jamal can't say anybody's name right now, even somebody who don't like, put up a picture of somebody who don't like. And once he does that, everybody will point him as a, he's not a target. That person is a target. So I am not saying sure. what I said, I am not saying that we shouldn't name these persons or put this information out there. I am totally for that, but we have to do so responsibly. We can't no, man, I got that. So uh, my response to that is if Jamal were to do that, right. Jamal would be charged with what is known as creating public mischief. Exactly. So, so I've people, never people, worried about that. Well, so I, there, what people who don't are not aware of the law. And how right. Paul can get himself into trouble. You are saying right. that the man stop. If he put a name out there and something happened to that man, a Jamal fault. It's his fault. Creating he public can pay to life yes. in prison. He can get in trouble for that. Prison. So we take we take it for granted. For example, mm -hmm. the door to, yeah, I like to use these forums, you know, to to to, to educate, educate the people. You had some little, you had some little mischievous girls down in Clarendon that said that the the girl come tell her say she cut her hair, and we now know that is a lie. Public mischief, and I would then charge them. So that's what I'm talking about. There is social responsibility by yes. the use of social yes. media. Yes. And so that's we true. have to remember to be responsible. What I will do is to also respect that persons who hold forums, if they have their protocols, we have, then we must respect the protocol. But certainly if this was my life, we'd be making double plate on a boy name and say, oh, yeah.
we say in your name, I I hands. Start, I start like, like right now, I wish your hands just bite up your hand or something, brother. Just no, it, it, then the hands they are got dead. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. Yeah, yeah. 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 But so, yeah, I mean, but it I is right. yeah, but the, the fact of the matter is, persons, people, this forum, what I did, is, why we did this tonight, why me and niggas discussed this and decided to do it tonight. Of course, it is to get Jamal's story out there. But most importantly is for the whole to take a step back from it and understand that this thing that Jamal is spoke about and that I Satashi's expertise on happens every single day. Every day. It's just because Jamal dealt with it and put it on social media. If he never post nothing, we wouldn't have known nothing at all about it. And these things happen all the time, all of the time, all the while. Stop being hypocritical. Them to take the, what I'm saying, take the, the, the beam out of your eye before you think to somebody else. One. So, I want to make sure that you are do being the citizen, the human being that you should be to your neighbors, to your family, because if something like this happening, because some people out there talk about, send me, um, send him name, send him name. If he's dead, if I'm here, uh, someone out there beat on a woman and beat on a picky. Some of your oh. brothers are doing it. Some of your man are doing it. I will not being for blood and putting, putting the names and things out there. So be aware of this. So poor Jamal and persons like him. But don't think it's just because it's on this live, it is the only thing. It will happen all the time. I'm sure Isaac can, can, can attest to that, that this is not the first situation in hearing of this. No, man, listen, this happens every single day and worse, worse, worse. And what people need to understand is for anybody who is, I'm seeing some of the com comments, for anybody who thinks that what Jamal did was the soft approach, is actually the opposite. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it is it, actually it, the opposite. So that's people to supposed to. So people are supposed to be saying that that man is lucky. Boy, Jamal. I'm, I, I, must, I must say that, and that is why I'm repeating this aspect of it, but more. More to say that, again, for those who just joined, it is your duty when it comes to your knowledge that a child is in danger. And it's not just physical abuse, there is sexual abuse and there is mental abuse. Especially in, especially in this pandemic where, where kids are home, they're exposed to every walk for things in life. And so we have to be more vigilant as a society and to use the law the way it's supposed to be used in terms of reaching out to the appropriate agencies. Like if, if, if it's sexual abuse, you contact Sitoka. If it's child abuse, the CPS, FSA, or, or whatever. But you, we have to know where we need to go because it's not everything you just show up at a police station because they're busy fighting COVID. Does crime now keep? So you have to understand. You're shady as hell, bro. <laughs> I got you too. Yeah. But, I mean, I it is what it is. Please. Please. What? Don't. Brother, I don't want nobody to report me live. I don't they can't report. Nobody. I don't need nobody to share. Just call them on I can't, please. my legal advice. I'm treading lightly. No, for you. You're the law. No, we need the law. The they can't report it. We need the law. I do what I tell. I do what I tell. You have, you have, have bone to kill our rascal man, everything. The goose bring everything. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bone to kill our rich. Bone to kill our rich. All right, I know. Bone to kill our rich and all right, right now. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. No, but on a big man levels, when the, when the man never said, you know, this thing happening, I won't leave a household in a Jamaica. <laughs> We are at the point right now where we're not a uh, collective anymore. Everybody are me. Everybody are individual. You say it takes a child to raise a community. A I community to raise a child. Nobody, especially these young parents, don't want you to reprimand their kids when they're doing bad. These parents will cost you knowing for them kids do something bad to figure reprimand the kids them. So we're in a society right now. Of course, people are going to hide him. 
The youth face bus up, shoulder crab up, back crab up, and nobody can find this man. This man is hiding. Somebody is hiding this man. True. This is who we are as a society. True. I'm going to blame all away. Yes. No, 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 I accept that. No, man. And I'm, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say he's not hiding, they're just not looking. And so that is why um, Jamal has to keep speaking um, and he's to, he's to do his rounds. He's to go on the morning shows. He's to go on the radio shows. He's to speak his truth. He's to set up his GoFundMe account. He's to get assistance. Put your money where your mouth is. I'm serious about that. And as a society, that's how you raise a child. I think you should bring him on CVM TV when you're going. Wednesday, check out Jamal Wednesday morning. I'm gonna make it happen because we, we, we will um, exchange information after this, and you 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 will get the platform to speak your I truth. May I see if your number? In, okay, may I tell you say if anything at all ever happen, you know, may I call it. I said help. That's no, what I do, Jamal. Make sure tomorrow. Yeah. Make sure tomorrow you start at the GoFundMe, bro. Yeah, man, definitely. Should be told tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Because you don't know Jamaican thing. It's a nine-day thing, in a brother. Nine-day, then remember. That's yeah. always a nine-day thing. Hold, 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 hold firm, my brother, because when you set up the goal for me, the people, they're going to say, you, you, you look money and you everything that is bad. No, but but don't, watch that. don't watch it's that. Don't watch it. It's already set, man. It's already set. Oh, oh all right. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. So you're supposed to tell me where the link is so we can, we can, yeah. we can start to, to, to pour in the, the funds. And don't worry, the Jamaican, the people in Jamaica, them not the money, so they're not going to give none. No worry about that is the dire word you want I'm you want the system from I'm ready. so this is what I pledge to do bro you, you hear me I, I, I break up same way be a break up again. be a break up tell me what you said niggas me talk to him tomorrow me send him a whatsapp this is what I pledge to do once we get the link for the GoFundMe I will make a video directing my followers to that link because I'm a general, I tell you this okay. right now. I got I don't have no kids, but I you know what I mean interact with my family children like they're my children. I got cousins with kids, girls, boys. My sister got a child, my brother got kids. And if any one of them something that happened to any one of them, brother, I mean I salute you because you it easy different it easy for not act on your emotions. I mean, no say they want to do some things, but me personally would I do them things. I'm mean, like, yeah, I'm America. I'm like, I'm like, I'm it's because children are so innocent. We feel that way when we hear people even attack children. We feel that way when people attack children, but for actually physically harm them, brother. That's another, True. That's another thing right there. So. What now send me the link or don't can send the link and tomorrow I'm gonna make a video directing my followers them to the link so you can get to your need, brother. Because you are gonna need problem. counseling, you are gonna need counseling, your baby mother are gonna need counseling, your the youth um, grandmother are gonna need you know what I mean money. You know what I'm saying? So this is gonna cost money and I urge each and every one I wanna we buy nonsense every day. Every day we buy nonsense. So if you can put a five, a ten, a fifteen, a twenty, he would appreciate it. So that's what I pledge to do for you, bro. Uh you know what? You know what? <clears throat> like I wanted to say somebody asked a comment about the mother, why she didn't leave and all of that. When you hear about domestic abuse, you're always hearing that. Why don't the woman leave? Why shouldn't I leave? Why shouldn't I go somewhere? Why shouldn't I do this? Why shouldn't I do that? Let me tell you the hypocrisy of that. That is all we do. We just say, why shouldn't I leave? Are you providing an outlet for her to leave? Do you know she has anywhere to go? Do you know she's afraid? Do you know, know her situation? Are you helping or just talking? That can yeah, happen to me. Me, me, that left. Uh, bull. That is garbage. That's garbage. No, for some of you have been in situations where you're not leaving and you can't leave. One, two, 
for the no situations that all you need is all you're doing is commenting and criticizing. Provide a solution. Tell her, I say, come stay in my place. I have one, one bedroom. We have, a, we have an empty bedroom. We can stay right here. So. I have one granny, a, cousin, a, a country, where at least you can just go take, take care of a little bit, but you will see up down there. So. Go on, go stay. I welcome with open arms. This is what we're not doing. We stay over one side and we comment and criticize. It's enough time to we'll stop doing these things and start to make some moves. Jamal, big up yourself, my general. Thanks for jumping in on the live. I share your story. I sat respect. I may reach out to you again, depending on what topic. Thank you for sharing your time and your valid expertise because people don't understand say, what you gave us tonight. Really, I'm too little for bill me. I need us to go pay it. I'm going to go fund me just to pay it. <laughs> That's cool, man. But um, I am I'm always happy to share the knowledge in terms of trying to get people to understand what their rights and responsibilities are. I think that um, if we are able to use our platforms to kind of educate people on that, we, we, we will be less dark in terms of our reactions and our responses to what's going on, especially in the Jamaican space where we really, we are an unruly nation. We only behave when we reach a ferry, which is most unfortunate. Or a line. Yeah, they call them go and get vaccinated. Well, that's a foreign thing. That's a foreign because literally at a foreign, they're dead. You just not there. Yeah, but I'm saying we, 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 I'm hoping that change. So I'm always, um, always happy to, you know, share the knowledge when called up. Respect for the story. Respect for that. Yeah, and remember, um, get uh, get Jamal the information so yeah, we can get him on this video. I will definitely share it with you guys. Jamal, I got comfortable and you can jump off. I don't know if you have anything to say before, before you jump off. I start said his final words. I don't know if you want to say anything. All right. Yeah, man, just, yeah, as, as we said, um, I um, appreciate every single person who um, tune in. Panel Live, yeah. I, mean, I also appreciate everybody who helped because um, we need the help and we never expect it, you know. We never expect it to go viral and we get what we need and we get justice. And I really appreciate every single every single person who reached out to me. Can't respond to every message because my inbox, my inbox is almost blocked. So I got made, made a story where everybody can view, show me appreciation. And everything. So I really appreciate every single, every single one that reach out and try to help and give me information. Because oh, are the people that make, are the people that make the star, the gleaner, CDA reach out to me. If me never post it on the media, none of them people would reach out to me. So are the people that make it happen. Hey, um, so this is something that I, that I left out. Jamal was the one to reach out to me. Is somebody is, is one of Jamal's friends, a woman, a female. She reached out to me and said, You need this. You should take it. She bring it to my attention. She was the one who like, yeah. Duffy, you need. She reached out to me. See? Not Jamal, a woman. See the power in that something there. We Jamal can sit there and night. ask questions all day. Why didn't you go when she called you? Why didn't she leave when time in be the picnic? We can sit there and ask questions all day, miss. We are here right now that you get abused and in face bust up. What are we going to do from now on? Thank the you. Questions are not asked in, invalid right now. Jamal, thank you, my general. But, yeah. um, I said, big up. Migos um, no move. Yeah, man. Migos no move. I'm going to deal with some of them people now. We're going to deal right. with some of them people now when I come in. So I right. uh, respect, yeah? Oh, yeah, man. Right. Respect. Big up myself. All right. All right. All right. All right. They don't know the thing, though. Yo, is it someone who knows? Who knows the answer? Oh, my God. Who's the one that's people's answer? What me? Why don't they answer? I'm going to deal with them now. I'm going to deal with them now. Well, I'll see you in the live. I'll start another live. line. We could start. Oh, all right. We could save that one here first. Yeah. We, are, we are right back because if it, if it, if it don't save, we know man. IGTV. Yeah, I download it. I download it. I did the one from last night already and upload them. I have them. Good. Right now.
Yo, we're gonna start next over here. Next live, next live. We're gonna start over here. Yeah, next live. There's some requests from my youth. <laughs>